All right, back again. Found this wash. We're gonna go ahead and give the X Max a bash over in this wash on a rainy day because of RC Guy Garage. RC Guy Garage says the Big Rock is way better than the X Max, and I don't believe that. So, what better place to find out than a rocky wash? So, let's see if uh, the X Max can handle all the big rocks that are out here. Let's get it, let's get with it. So, best place to be on a rainy day is a wash, correct? Let's see if the see and I don't think the big rock could handle these rocks that are in here. Oh, I think I just hit a big rock. Let me walk over there and check. All right, we're almost to it. See these big rocks that are down here? I, I think I hit one. Yep, look at that. Hit a big old rock. See, this is where the big rocks are born. So that the X Maxes can come. Yep, all these big rocks that are down here. Now, are you gonna tell me that a big rock can run through this? There's no way. that a big rock can handle this. Look at them rocks. So RC Guy Garage, he was right. Yep, perfect jump is a big rock. That's how you know rocks are big. When they knock your RC over. X Max doesn't even feel these rocks out here. Kinda wanna slow down for some of the big rocks. But most of the big rocks, I just don't slow down for.
because the big rocks will definitely make your RC jump well. Look at that. That that big rock right there, cam we call this a camouflage rock because it looks like man-made cement buried in the ground. You can't see those big rocks, but you know, most of the white big rocks you can see, you know, the black big rocks that are out here you can see some of them. So let's uh let's go find a jump. Oh, there's one. Sandblast that rock. Look at that. That's a perfect jump right there. Get some two-wheel two action, climb up those rocks. Let's, uh, let's walk down a little and see if we can find some more rocks. And this is, this is what I'm trying to, to get across. I'm not out here beating on the big rock. I think the big rock, as you saw on my Christmas list, it's one of the best budget RCs out there. It truly is. But to compare a big rock against an X-Max and say that the X-Max doesn't perform, I don't know. For me, I just, I don't feel that way. I do have my breakages just like anybody else. You're hitting rocks like this out here, like RC Guy Garage has diamond dust. If I try to go full trigger in here and I nail one of these rocks, you bet your butt I'm gonna be breaking a hub, a control arm. I will be breaking something. And it's not, it's not the RC's fault. You know, things happen. You run into stuff. That's why it being all plastic, something, something's gotta give. Now his motor issue, you know, he has every right to be upset. That's not right. God, this is the sandy part. It's been raining all day. I've been waiting to get out here to do a video because this was a river early on today. But if I decide, if, if I really decide to go full blast in here and I nail a rock, well, guess what? That's my choice, you know? You know, out here beating up on this RC like this, you know, I expect things to break, you know. I don't know why I'm saying so and you know so much, but I mean, you got to expect things to break. I don't think RC Guy Garage is... Uh, trash I don't think he truly believes that the big rock is an X, X max replacement but I'm understanding by him saying for 300 bucks you can't go wrong with uh with a big rock i love the big rock it has its place this ravine right here is not a place for the big rock if i took the big rock in here it would snap like that it wouldn't last
Big Rock's a great RC, but it has its it, it has its areas. That's all I'm trying to say. All I'm trying to say is that it does have its areas and not every place is an area for that RC. So, tell me what you guys think. You guys think the Big Rock is an X-Max replacement? Do you think it's the new king of RCs? I want an honest opinion. Do you think I can bring the big rock out here and uh, and send it off some of these rocks? Is this a place I think you should bash your RCs? Is a rocky ravine? No. I think it's dangerous to bring out an RC into an area like this. This is literally a bedrock. When they say bedrock, this is what they mean. These are our washes out here. This is where all the water travels back down to the ocean. So, and this is across the street from my house. I live right over there. I could be down here every day bashing, but I've been in here before. I've seen this terrain between the trash that flows through here going to the ocean and uh, all these rocks. It's no place for, you know, a weak RC. It's just not. Big Rock might do okay, but it's going to get stuck everywhere I run it. That's all I'm trying to say. But a budget RC down on grass or sand or, you know, RC Guy Garage's uh, backyard bash. I think it's a it's a perfect place for his uh, backyard scale. You know. But look at that. But do I think uh, the big rock should be in a place like this next to your house? Nah, I just can't see it. I can't see this being the place. This is where the X-Max shines. Terrain like this. You don't need no groomed skate park. To run an X-Max. You just get out here wherever you can and bash it. Whether you're hitting big bushes or cement skate parts, the X-Max is there for you. That was a brick. We almost made that backflip. We got to try that again. I think I could hit that, hit that wall, backflip it. What you think? Look, somebody did some cement right in there. Probably some skaters. A little kicker right here. Somebody came in with some bags of cement, made themselves a little kicker right here. Got a skate park right next to my house. 
And these are the jumps I like to find. That was a hard landing that popped the body. And that's a Deontay jump right there. So much for this uh, orange body, it ripped the body screws right out. Look at that, all the body screws are out. So there we go guys. You think the big rock can survive that jump? I don't think so. That's where the indestructible body comes into play. Skate barks and cements. But I wanted to get out here and show you guys that, uh, that the X-Max is still king, in my opinion. Oh, got all this grass stuck in the wheel. It'll just keep running and running and running because an X-Max just doesn't care. No matter the train, dog poop and all. All the dog poop on this grass. X-Max doesn't care. It'll mow the lawn. It'll play in the skate park. And it definitely will hit the bedrock. And it will outperform a big rock any day so that's for you rc guy garage big rock my thoughts are nope big rocks impressive but nothing compared to an x max so there you go guys like comment subscribe we will see you guys on my next video Thanks for watching. Get out of here, Big Rock. Thinking, thinking you're the king. Nope, not in my eyes. All you are is a curb stopper. Help the X-Max get up the curb. That's it. All right, I'm out. See you guys later.